then at some of the highlights of round number five of the International GT Open that started with the number 16 Teo Martin Motorsport McLaren and Fran Rueda on the pole position. He turned into turn number one whilst it was side by side behind and it was Stefan Rossina in the KTM that got himself ahead of Louis Pret in the Ferrari to take second place out of turn number one. The battle early on was between Stefan Ortelli and Miguel Ramos with the latter uh, trying desperately to find a way past the Ferrari. They made contact on more than one occasion, but the two were laughing about it in the pit lane afterwards. No hard feelings, clearly. It was a slightly troubling first part of the race for the TF Sport Aston Martin of Sally Yollock that just couldn't make the same sort of progress that their championship rivals were in the early stages of the race. And then the race was rather turned on its head by this contact with Nicky Lutweiler getting elbowed into the gravel trap uh, by Patrick Krapinski's Mercedes. The safety car came out not long before the pit lane window opened and uh, several cars had to serve uh, handicap penalties. Once the pit stops were done, the KTM came out right behind the 16 McLaren and was pretty quickly able to find its way through whilst it was the other Teo Martin McLaren that was making all of the progress. The 59 car started down in ninth place, but Enrique Chavez was able to work his way, first of all, past Callum McLeod, then past his teammate Marcello Han to finish in third. It was a historic victory, though, for the KTM Crossbow GTX concept, and Patrick Niederhauser and Stefan and Racina were victorious at the Red Bull Ring in race number one of the weekend with Enrique Chavez uh, in the 59 car coming home second and Marcello Han making it two Teo Martin Motorsport McLarens on the podium.